So you're driving down the road on a daily basis and do you ever hit potholes? You try to avoid them, but you can't. There are a lot of them left over in spring very often from winter weather. So Lauren Fix, the car coach, is going to tell us how to try to avoid them when we're on the roads and what to do if we have damage to our car. So Lauren Fix joins us now. Hello. Thanks for being on your day with Anna Coyman. Well, thank you for having me back. Yeah, this is one of those things you don't think about. You're driving down the road, you're listening to your music, you're talking to your kids, and it's like, oh, you hit a pothole. Yeah, the well, especially is, if is what it the damage happens. Is. Look, we drive the same places every day, right? Whether it's to work, whether it's to daycare, right. school, what have you. Um, so first up, mm -hmm. can you just explain what a pothole is? Where do they come from? How does it happen? Sure. Sure. So you got your regular paved roads. It happens all around the country, especially when you're out of town, you won't see them because you're not used to where the, your road. But that same road you drive every day and it got cold and then maybe it iced and it got icy and all that and a little bit of snow in the Atlanta area or the Charlotte area, wherever you are. And then suddenly it warms up. What happens is the water gets underneath a little teeny crack in the pavement and then it starts to pop it up. Cars and trucks and everybody drives over it and that little pothole that's small gets big. And yes. suddenly it's big enough to absorb a Mini Cooper. And that's when you go, uh oh, <laughs> and, and and when you hit it, you're like, oh, like it really upsets you because it's like you think, oh, did I damage my car? Mm -hmm. um, some people will pull over and look, but you really need to keep your eyes on the road, and that's why. And, and these potholes sometimes get repaired, and they come right back. So it yeah. depends on where you live and how it's being repaired. Yeah, I have to say, as a road cyclist, I do some of that, and it's it's really dangerous, especially the the really deep ones, and sometimes. You just right. can't avoid them. So I guess one of the best things we can do is call our local leaders, send an email or get on <laughs> yeah. the phone, one or the other, and let right. them know where they are to hopefully get them fixed. But if we can't avoid them, right. there's, you get damaged. There's to local the pothole patrols. Yeah. What do we need to know? There's local pothole there's local pothole patrol. So check with your county, check with your town. Sometimes they have it online. You can say I report a pothole. What do you do? You see one in the road. You know it's coming. Now if if there's no one on the opposing lane you can kind of go around it if it's uh, or, or possibly over to the shoulder or you can straddle it. Those are like the easiest things to avoid hitting it, obviously. So if you if you're like, oh, boy, I'm going to hit this thing. I just know what's coming. You should know, first off, the damage that it can occur and then and how to drive through it. First, how to drive through it. Put your steering wheel straight. Slow and down. You're going to drive with your wheels straight into the pothole and then back out of the pothole. If you can do that slowly, okay. you will not damage your car. If you just hit it at full speed, you're doing 40 miles an hour, or higher. this is the damage that will happen. Yeah. You, you will damage the sidewall of the tire. You'll get a bubble. If you do, that tire's junk. It needs to be replaced. You can damage the rim. Now, many of these today are made of alloy, which is aluminum, and they get damaged and then they won't seal anymore. And then your tire's not gonna work and you're gonna damage both your rim and your tire. That can be expensive. You can do suspension damage, which is behind this wheel. That means that when you try to drive, you're gonna, wow, I'm suddenly making some noises that I've never heard before that will cost you a lot of money. It can also damage like the overhangs on these cars, like you see them, they're lower in a lot of vehicles yeah, these days. If the lower you one. damage that, you can easily damage the front or the, the fender or the frame of the car. Then it's getting expensive. I've seen exhaust system damage, fuel line damage, brake fluid, da brake damage. All that means big expenses on you, which you really don't want. So you can straddle it. You can drive through it. Keep your wheels straight. Or like I said, slow down. But if you can avoid it, that's always the best bet. And then if we do have some damage, just quickly, any tips you have for getting it fixed and not spending an arm and a leg? We've all done this. You're driving along and you hear boom, you're like, oh, I can't believe I did that. Yes. Like, like you're, you're so mad at yourself. First thing you wanna do is if you can pull over safely somewhere, a driveway or parking lot, look at it. If you see real bad damage, you can get your vehicle towed. If you said, boy, I've hit that same pothole every single day. I know exactly what you're talking about, Anna. Every day I hit that pothole. You want to go find an ASC certified technician. What they will do is they'll check the alignment on the car also. Because what you're doing is you're knocking these tires out of alignment, which means they're going to wear quicker and they're also going to get damaged. And that's going to cost you at least $200 a tire. So save your money for your vacation, your family, and whatever it is you want to buy. You know, if you don't have to buy tires, that's a, probably a good one. I work for my money. I don't want to have to be spending extra money on tires. And exhaust Me money. either. No. No way, I want to be going to see my money. <laughs> Florence, yeah. 
Parker, <laughs> thank you so much for looking out for us, always helping to keep us safe and also saving us some money and learning a few things in the process. Where can we find out more information about you? Car Coach Reports. Uh, I, it's in English and in Spanish. There's tons of great articles, car reviews, or you can go to my YouTube channel. You can like and subscribe. Car Coach Reports on all forms of social media. I'm at Lauren Fix. Easy to find. Yes, or my favorite, Instagram as well. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we will see you next time as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, save, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you find out when we release our next video. See you next time. <laughs>